Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon Diamond Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm Q the Costa Rican, and this is episode 6. In the last episode, we took on Gardenia, and uh, spoilers for the last episode. If you haven't watched it, go back and head and watch it. I will wait. Are you back? Alright, we lost two team members. Um, let's press this real quick. We lost KK, who's in the box already, and we lost Monster, who I forgot to take off. So we're going to take that Draco plate from him, and we're going to go start things off by running back to the Pokemon Center and putting him in the box. Because I just, it just, you know, I just simply forgot to put him in the box. Shout out to Bella Fox for commenting on that and letting me know that I did forget to put him in the box. Because I did not remember. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to make our way towards the Pokemon Center, heal up, and deposit Monster. And hopefully, in today's episode, find a replacement for Monster. Cause that would be that would be the best, honestly. Monster, I w Monster was gonna be a really good physical attacker, but it is what it is. You know, sometimes a Palkia just comes in and ruins your plans, and that's just how the day. That's just how the Pokemon world works. A Palkia just comes in and ruins your plans. So we're going to move Pokemon, go to the death box, and put in Monster. So now we just have a team of four. I'm hoping to uh, get uh, Magnezone up to some up some levels. Some levels need to be thrusted upon Magnezone. In fact, I am going to put him up front real quick and see what we can do. I'm gonna switch him with Lazy, and there we go. He's up front. He's up front. He's ready. So, I don't not sure what we're gonna do in today's episode. I know it involves that building right there. And we get to meet a very special person, you know what I'm saying? Oh, is that a Pokedex? You must be helping Professor Rowan. What's your name? Oh, hello Q. I'll be sure to remember that name. My name's Cynthia. I'm a trainer just like you. I've been studying Pokemon mythology lately just out of curiosity. Here in Eternal City, there's a statue of an ancient Pokemon. According to myth, it was an extremely powerful Pokemon. Who knows? You may encounter something like it while you're traveling with your Pokedex. Try using this. This should help you on your way. Obtained HML1, which I'm pretty sure is cut. And that's what we needed. Because that's what we just became able to use outside of battle. Due to the gym badge from Gardenia. The forest badge. So yeah, this is just a little sneak peek to this character. She's really cool. Turns out to be mad important. Don't quote me on that. So we're going to go behind here. I do remember there being an item behind here, if I'm not mistaken. Huh. Maybe you gotta go like... Maybe not. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it was, got randomized to a citrus berry. Whatever. But yeah, this is the statue she was talking about. It is an incomplete statue, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. This is writing on the Pokemon statue. Creation of Daya, giver of time, and laughter. There is tears, and likewise. The same, time flows, the blessing of Daya. And then the text is barely legible, and has faded completely in places. So yeah, something happened there. That makes the text in, 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 in unlegible? Unlegible? Alright, so we need to cut this tree down, but I really don't want to teach anyone on the party cut. So I'm actually going to go back in here and use uh, Monster's Dead Carcass to cut the trees down. Judge me all you want. That's what we're doing. It is called an HM Slave for a reason. And that's what we're doing there. Whoops, no. Go back. Withdrawal, I guess. Oh, come on. I accidentally pressed B. <laughs> Not getting off to a good start. And I went, went to deposit again. Okay, okay. We're getting this. We're getting these menus worked out, guys. Don't you worry. Don't you worry your pretty little heads. So, yeah. So, t I'm recording this on Tuesday. And hopefully this is going up on Tuesday. It will. It doesn't take that long to edit. And... Uploading time is pretty non-existent as well. Um, and it's the day after my Chicago Bears had taken down, decidingly taken down, the Washington Redskins. 31-15. to It was such a good game. Defense showed up and showed out. And uh, offense finally got the ball rolling. Giggity. Figuratively. And... Uh... Actually, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But yeah, Bears won. 31-15. It was great. It was great. Such a good game. 
10 out of 10 would recommend. Go back and watch it if you haven't. It's a good game. Not for not if you're a Redskins fan. If you're a Redskins fan, I, I would I would try to repress that memory as deep as you can. Because it was not a good game for you guys. That's all I got to say. But, uh... <laughs> But yeah, defense was crazy. They got like, I'm going to say 10 sacks. It's probably less than that, but they got a lot of sacks. <gasps> Giga T again. I'm going to exit here real quick because I do remember there being an item over here. Right past this tree. I think it's a TM actually. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. But I, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's a TM. It's usually like, it's usually some weird move. Fury Cutter. Yo, we'll take that. Okay. I don't know who I'll give that to. I don't know who could learn it. We'll find out. I have a few, like, decent TMs. Nothing crazy. Let's see if there's a hidden item over here. Uh... Okay, I guess not. Alright. Let us go into the Team Galactic HQ. And let's take down this... This... These... Miscrants. Does he want to battle? Hello, sir? Welcome to Team Galactic. Are you here to clone your Pokemon? What? You're not? That kind of get off my property. Do we have to bring the pain like a, like we did with the Cycle Shop Manager? Oh, so they just... Okay, so we are doing double battles here. We are gathering Pokemon for an astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. Da -da. Some good music. Sorry, dearie. Team Galactic doesn't accept children as members. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? So in case you're wondering, I just woke up like 30 minutes ago, and uh, this man has a Fion and a Sunflora. Let's go. What levels are they? 13 and 14. I could probably stay in with Metamech. I resist both their the, both of their stabs. One has Mega Drain. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in. I'm risking it, but hey, we're gonna one shot this Sunflora, remember? And then Fion isn't a problem. We already knew that. Palkia had a little... F okay, Sunflora was not one-shotted. I stand corrected. But Fion used Bubble on the Charizard. A.K.A. Bakugo. A.K.A. the savior of episode 5. Oh, Bubble hits both of us. Look at that. Look at Metamech tanking that Bubble. Thundershock this Fion, Metamech. What are you doing, half? Not even half. Okay, I forgive you. And Sunflora is using Ingrain. Get out of here. The sun floor thinks it's top stuff, eh? We're gonna speed that up, cause that is just an animation I do not want to see. Sun floor is down for the count. Metamech's gonna crit. Come on, Metamech, crit, crit, crit. Ah, uh, so close. Hey, get the pair though. We'll take those. Okay, now we're gonna switch with Metamech, cause I don't know what this Ghastly wants to do. Uh, we'll switch out into Lazy. And then, uh, we will, I guess, Dragon Rage the Ghastly? Yeah. Yeah, that seems right. Speed things up. And one-shot that Ghastly. Get out of here, boy. Little spooky boy. And Bubble's doing absolutely nothing to us. And then we will just side beam the Fion and... Whoops, no, no, no. We don't need to waste the Dragon Rage. Ember the Fion. Ember goes first. And it finishes it off. No need for ball toy or lazy to do anything. And a polytoad. Okay, Parish Song is a thing. But we will definitely not last three turns with this guy. If we just scratch and side beam. I think a scratch and a side beam combo will finish it off. And it does not. Okay. I am a liar once more. But this next one will. And that was our first double battle with the Team Galactic. And we're hurting a little bit, but we're going to progress forward. I could go back and heal. I very well could. I could also talk to all these guys. I don't know if all of them want to battle. I don't think they do. I think they're all working. Yeah, they're researching on... You want to harness some serious power Pokemon. He says energy. Alright, so they're trying to harness Dialga energy. Spoilers. Let's just go fight this lady. Why, thank you. We love it when people come to donate their Pokemon. I ain't donating nothing. You gotta take my Pokemon from my cold dead hands. Galactic Grunt sent out a Ryolu. Ryolu's dope. I would love a Ryolu, to be honest. Evolved into a Lucario. The only bad thing is it evolves with friendship, so that might take a minute. But, I'm willing to put in the work for a Lucario. Um, I want to go on to Bakugo, and I will. Because <laughs> I don't think this guy learns any rock type moves at this low of a level. I think at most he has Force Palm. Force Palm, maybe a normal type move, and we resist Force Palm. He has Counter. 
He does have Force Palm. It could paralyze us. It doesn't. So, since he has counter, we're going, well, we're going for Ember anyways, even if he didn't have counter. Which should one shot. Let's go. Because he's actually, he's not even part steel yet. He's only fighting. Weird. Weird. I guess he gains the steel typing when he levels up. About to send out a Mankey. Uh, we'll stay in, actually. We don't need to switch out. I need to get the experience share for uh for Meta Mech. That's that's what I think I'm actually gonna wait for. He's got Mold Breaker. So sometimes it alerts you to moves and sometimes it alerts you to abilities. Is that what I just basically yeah. That's cool, I guess. I don't know what that said. I think it said Bonsley. Bonsley, yeah. My my my, my reading is on point. Let's go. I may have glasses. But your boy can still see. Alright, so he is a rock type. I probably shouldn't have stayed in, but a dragon raid should finish this Bonsley off. I can't see a Bonsley having more than 40 HP. It's a baby Sudowoodo. He ain't, he ain't, yeah, see, 40 HP. Come on, get out of here. Bonsley fainted. And Bakugo gets to level 23. Let's go, Bakugo. That's what's up. Let's see what she has to say now. You can catch Pokemon anywhere. What's so special about him? Trainers that lose their Pokemon quit whining and catch some more. Well, this is a Nuzlocke, sir, so I'm only allowed to catch the first Pokemon I encounter in each route. So, yeah, I can't just catch the more. Alright, let's go see what... That guy didn't want to do anything. Let's go see what this scientist has going up his... Up his... Up his lab coat? I don't know what I'm saying. Our mission is to implement our operations without question. It's all for the new world, the order that our boss will lead. Okay, scientist, you're supposed to be a smart man. But, yet you're challenging me. Scientist Trovon sent out a ladybug. Look at you. And you're sending out ladybugs to go against Metamex. Like, you don't stand a chance. I'm gonna stay in and thunder. Like, what do you? what's your answer to this? Reflect? Get out of here, dude. Maybe there's a special attacks around here. And safeguard. Okay, now you won't be paralyzed, but you're gonna be dead. Come on, Ladybug. You need a better trainer. Ladybug evolves into Ledian, if you didn't know. I'm sure you guys know. And Ledian has such a cool design. I've said this in... I think I said this in Pokemon Gold before. Ledian has such a cool design. But yet... Such lackluster stats. His moves are so cool. He learns, like, all the elemental punches... I think he learns the elemental punches. I know he learns Comet Punch for sure. This guy is mad because his Pokemon got taken away. I think these, is, these are his. And so we are actually going to heal up. So I'm pretty sure this is, uh, what's it called? Commander Jupiter, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, where's that berries? We have Orin Berries, right? Orin Berries. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is uh, Commander Jupiter. And... We gotta save this man from ultimate peril. And let's see what happens here. Metamech should be getting some good levels after this battle. And let's commence. Eh, did you want something? How silly me to even ask. You wanna free these Pokemon? Yeah, that's gonna happen. Okay, she's very sarcastic. I love it. I love it. Come on, Jupiter. Let me see what you got going on here. You're challenged by Commander Jupiter. She only has two Pokemon, so... And one of them's a Caterpie. Really, Jupiter? You're trying to steal Pokemon? Because you have a Caterpie? Is this what's going on? You want to talk about it? This Caterpie should be a Butterfree already. It's a level 18, brother. Like, it should have been evolved. I'm actually going to stay in and just spam Thundershock. I'm going to get Metamech all this XP. And his cat her Caterpie gets parried. Get out of here, dude. You don't even know good Pokemon when if it bit you in the nose. Alright, we get some... And it's got a Drifloon. We'll stay in and switch out. Drifloon is that Pokemon I was talking about that should have appeared in Valley Windworks. But, after recording, I had realized that I was actually recording it on Saturday. Not Friday. So that's why it didn't it didn't pop up. Uh, we'll go out into Bakugo. Metamech can't be switched out. This, so this Drifloon either has Magnapool... Arena Trap, or Shadow Tag. So, thankfully, uh, Thundershock is super effective, and I think this thing's just gonna go for Ghost-type moves. Oh, okay, Gust. We four times resist that. I'm pretty sure Electric resists Ghost. I mean, just resist Flying. A Thundershock will be super effective, so I don't think we have anything to worry about here. It's just, uh, kinda sucks. Alright, so yeah, that's that. Let's see, he uses Payback. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Metamech is the answer. Oh, we get a crit. Let's go, Metamech. Come on. Putting in work. That's what's up. 
I love Magnezone. It's such a cool design. I didn't like Magneton in theory didn't need to evolve, you know what I'm saying? But the fact that they made him evolve is still pretty good. Still pretty dope, I mean. Like, let's not give it to Dunsparce, a Pokemon that definitely needs an evolution. Let's uh just give it to Magneton. Make him a Magnezone. Well aren't you tough? It's okay though. Our official Pokemon stat investigation is finished. Mars has collected enough energy from the Valor Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon, with the power of mythical Pokemon who will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep editing Black Goose Affairs from now on. This is your last warning! So, Professor Jupiter. Pretty nice. <laughs> I got my Clefairy back. That is all thanks to you, but that Team Galactic. They say Clefairy came from space, hand it over. Their logic baffles me still. It's like they are from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise on by my sock shop, okay? And we'll probably get a bicycle. Spoilers, we are getting a bicycle. That is what's happening. That is what's happening. So, also today, I think yesterday, in Pokemon Go, Garatina just got added to raids, to five-star raids. Which, if you don't know, you won't know. Uh, five-star raids, raids are just a thing that happens in Pokemon Go to make people, you know, become more connected and to a common cause, to a common goal. And just a tackle, tackle a big old legendary. The week before was Mewtwo's, which I got like nine of. And this week is Garatina, which is one of my favorite legendaries from Gen 4. So good. So dope. He is literally the Pokemon Devil. And uh, yesterday I woke up at around, uh, like, I think 11.30, maybe noon. No, no, no. It was like 2 or 3. And I just randomly opened Pokemon Go to see if anything was in my house to catch. Because usually they are. Things are in my house to catch. And, uh, yeah, I saw Garatina had 15 minutes left. So, I'm a part of a group chat on Facebook for this town that, uh, has people, you know, trying to, what's it called, trying to, um, what's the word, organize raid battles, and I just went to check it out real quick, and sure, sure is, uh, sure is my name is Q the Costa Rican, they were, they were organizing to go take on Garatina, and I live five minutes away from the location of one of the raids, and they were all, and they were all like, I was all like, Yo, did y'all do it yet? I'll be five minutes. And they're like, oh yeah, go ahead. Hurry up though. It's only got 15 minutes left. So I went down there. We took on Garatina. I only got eight oh I only got eight balls to catch him, and I caught him. He wasn't he wasn't anything. Why am I going in here? I went to go to the cycle shop. He was only a two-star. But it's still Garatina. Garatina's a Garatina, and I will take that. The cycle shop is, I believe, over here. I just walked right past it for some reason. Yep, bicycle's sitting out there. We we're going to get ourselves a bicycle and make our way to Cycling Road. Thanks for rescuing me. This is something to show my thanks. It's the latest model bicycle. Just take it. You must. It's the latest model. So I'll read the operating manual too. Press the B button to shift up or down. In the third gear, you can't go all the fast, but it's easy to control. In fourth gear, it gets harder, sir, and stop, but it's fast. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So now we get to exit to the south. I believe there's a trainer in here that wants to trade. I think it's in this house. I just want to see what the trade got randomized to. If we can make the trade. Okay, never mind. No trainer to be heard of. I'm a liar. I'm a liar and a, and a, and a something else. Let's uh, go to our bag. And let's register this bike. I am unsure of what select is. It says it's Y. But I don't think that's what it is. Let's, uh, is it shift? Is it backspace? Is it... Is it... M? It is M! Let's go. Alright, it's M. Guess and check method is always gonna work. Hey, what up, scientist? Keel, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Wellman's assistant and Dawn's father. I've come a long way to help you on the adventure of the Pokemon Professor's behavior. Keel, let me ask, how many Pokemon have you met? Oh my, you've met 120 Pokemon. Are you serious? Wonderful. Yes, bravo. Professor Wellman should be delighted. Here's something for you. Obtain that experience share. I was just talking about that. Let's go. Pokemon holding experience here, we're giving some of the experience points for battle. We'll give it to you in the end of battles. Alright, cool. Thank you, scientists. We're gonna give that to Metamech real quick. And so he can level up and become even stronger than before. Let's give that to Metamech. And we can actually take him out of the front now. I'll probably lead things off with our starter for Buki. Actually, no, no, no. Lazy still is one level behind everyone else so let's give it to lazy all right let's go boys 
I'm pretty sure on Cycling Road, yep, it just pops up. And it's on a slant, so as soon as we hit this one, it's going to make us go forward. We can also get an encounter on this route, so that is cool. That's what I'm looking most forward to. Hopefully to finding a monster replacement. Maybe it'll just be an HM slave that we can keep on the team. And this man's got a Skarm Skarm. Uh, I think a Rock Tomb will do neutral damage. We missed, so we'll never know. That actually did a lot of damage. We're going to switch out into Charizard. Bakugo, a.k.a. The savior of episode 5. Alerted it to Swift. Swift ain't nothing. I ain't scared of you, Swift. We're gonna not one-shot you. Hey, a burn, though. Aw, uh, it doesn't finish it off. Ember will finish it off, though. And that's that. Metameku to level 14. Wants to learn Sonic Boom. That is like Dragon Rage, as in it does fixed damage, but it's a little bit less than. Uh, Metal Sound... I want everything else here. We'll get rid of Metal Sound. We don't need that. We'll probably never really use Sonic Boom, except for like catching Pokemon, maybe. But it's still cool to have. I wake up a good sweat ride, and I'm feeling great. Let's battle. Okay, woman. Cyclist Diane. Nope, Cyclist Megan. Send out a Bebarrel. And we are lazy. That is a part water type, so we're going to switch out into Fabuki. And go for. Oh, snap! That does damage. Uh, Ominous Wind should one-shot, yeah. It does- Oh, I'm so stupid. What is my pro What is wrong with me? Oh, God. This is gonna be bad now. If we don't one-shot, Fabuki's dead. Please land. Okay, thank God. Come on, Fabuki. One-shot. One-shot. Oh, it's resisted because it's a water type. Please miss. Please miss. Come on, this Bibbrel should not be putting this much work in. Oh my god. If you guys don't know, rollout doubles in damage. Ah! I should have double teamed. That's what I should have done. Okay. We're going to have to switch out into Lazy. Because I think Lazy resists rock type moves. And hope it miss. Come on, Bibbrel, miss. Dodge, Lazy. Dodge, dodge, dodge. No, it doesn't dodge. It does so much damage. But we do resist it. Even if it goes... Even if the fifth one lands, we should still live once I sleep a potion up. What is wrong with me, dude? Why am I... Thank you, lazy. Lazy dodges. That's a nimble lazy. Why did I... I'm so stupid. I used ominous win. I knew it was... I was just thinking water type. I wasn't even thinking normal type. Hey, I'm gonna confuse it. Hit yourself, Bibberol. This Bibberol should not be causing his problems. Look at this man's face. Look at it. Is that the face of a killer? I don't think so. He uses Water Gun finally, though. We are five levels above. Our Spadef is pretty high. And we're good. We live. Now we can go for a side Beam and take him out. And it's a crit. We could have used that first. But it's whatever. Everyone's getting an XP because they all got to see the battle. I would need to heal up Fubuki real quick. I almost pressed Enter, guys. Haven't pressed Enter for like two episodes, but I almost pressed it just there. Alright, let's go and use a Super Potion... Oh, Fabuki. If I would have lost my Fabuki to a Bibiru, I would have ended the lock right there, to be honest. I would have ended the lock right there. Cyclist James set out a Spearow. Alright, Psybeam should be able to one-shot that. Yeah, it's a Twist Spoon Boost and Psybeam from a Mimit Laser. Alright, hey, come back, come back, come back. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta battle everybody here. We want all the levels. We want all the levels. You're challenged by Cyclist the Cole. Set out a Spinda. Fun fact about Spinda: apparently, I don't know the, I don't know the, you know, the actual number, but no, there is you, the likelihood of running in to the same Spinda, as in the same pattern that a Spinda has. Apparently, there's like, I think it's like some su super crazy number, like two million and five hundred different variations of Spinda. So like the odds of running into the same Spinda twice is like pretty low. That's just a thing that the Pokemon has done. Pokemon games have done for whatever reason. We're gonna send out Bakugo to deal with this Carnivine. Even though it's just... And it has Forewarn. I mean, not Forewarn. It has Hail. We probably should have sent out uh, Fabuki, But it's, it's whatever. Bakugo takes it out. Metamech to level 15. That's what's up. Metamech's getting them levels. He's catching up. Let's go ahead and fight the other cyclists over here. Your bike is the type that can shift gears, huh? <laughs> Pathetic. This man's jealous of our bike. We got it for saving his life, sir. Okay, so... A side beam should do damage against this thing. And it does maximum damage. Let's go. 
And he's got a Magby going on. I will stay in and mud slap this Magby. What does mud slap do? It does not one shot, but it does lower his accuracy. And a color change to the ground type. Okay, now we're gonna side beam you then. And take you out. Lazy gets no. He doesn't get a level. He's close though. There's a person right here. I'm gonna fight him. And hopefully we get our Oh, did we even get an encounter on Cycling Road? Or is it below Cycling Road that we get the encounter? I'm not sure. I don't remember to be honest. I know we can get an encounter in that cave over there too. So yeah, that's gonna be dope. Alright, I can't wait. I'm gonna get two encounters to end these this episode off. It's gonna be great. Manabek's still getting levels. We're gonna go ahead and fight this woman. I'm just still holding down that speed up button because I just want to get through these battles. Cyclist Rachel. <laughs> I know it's Rachel, guys. Calm down. It's not a Mary. Psybeam should be able to deal with this sheep. And he's got a Rhyhorn, which I'll stay in with. And Psybeam it. Yeah, Rhyhorn's got Butterscotch to death, if I remember correctly. And that's that. And we're going to go ahead and fight this other lady. Uh, she loves her bike, and she's good at fixing them. They're challenged by Cyclic Ka Cyclist Kayla. It's not a Porygon Z. Porygon Z is Bulk City, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Eh. Use Conversion. Transform into the Dark type? Okay, this man with the strats over here. Calm down. Now he's a Psychic type. Okay. Um, he's setting up on me, but all he has is Tri-Attack, which I'm not scared of. Okay, keep going from Dark to Psychic, bro. It's not really... You did nothing to attack me. Whatever. <laughs> what a trash Porygon Z. Alright, and we're at a Cycling Road. We do not get an encounter in Cycling Road. I must have that confused with all the other gens where there's like a patch of grass. Hey, we get a flag. Cool. And that's... But that's not this game. Apparently there's no grass in Cycling Road. Thought there was? I was wrong. But I think we run into someone right there, so we're not going to do that quite yet. Dang it, I don't have cut. Alright, we're gonna have to come back for this encounter. We're gonna get these berries. Raspberries. So return to soft and earthy state. We will come back in time to get this encounter before the episode ends. I command it. Arceus says it must be so. Then it must be so. Oh, there she is. Dawn. Hi, Q. How's your Pokedex coming along? Hmm, I'm somewhere between fantastic and, uh, hopeless. But this is- oh. This isn't- this is not her voice that I've used in the beginning. But this isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Q, choose which hand you want. I want the right hand. I see. You want the Versus Seeker. I'm impressed, Q. You know what's important. Yay. I think she gives us both anyways, though. Because she's such a nice gal. Using that Versus Seeker, you can find trainers who want to rematch with you, which will make grinding hella dope. And now we get the dowsing machine for the Poke Etch, which allows us to see hidden items on the ground, which I love. I love seeing hidden items on the ground because I don't remember where they all are. So, we will get these berries as well. And then we're going to go down to the Pokemon Center, get Monster out real quick, and then get some encounters. There's just one just sprouting, so we aren't, aren't able to pick that one just yet. But that's okay. That is okay, boys. We're gonna go down this way. We can go back up there with the bike, so no worries. Back in Orborg City. Does this look familiar? I think it does. And we're gonna heal up. Come on, boys. Do, 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 do. I could have just easily taught somebody cut, but that's the whole reason why I took I took Monster out in the beginning was because I didn't want to teach anybody anyone on our actual team cut because it's not a good move for anybody really. Like I guess I guess um, Bakugo can replace Scratch with Cut, but he learns much better moves that I I'm not gonna waste a slot on Cut. Like come on now, especially because I don't know where the I don't even know where the move leader is. You might not see him for a long time, so I, don't, I really don't want to teach. I don't want to teach our, our arguably best mon on the team. Cut. You know what I'm saying? It probably goes for Buki, Bakugo, Magnazone, then Baltoy. Uh, but once once Baltoy evolves to a Clay Doll, then it'll probably go Fubuki, Charizard, uh, 
What's it called? Okay, let's, uh, how do we switch gears? Uh, there we go, that was easy. Sweet! And we're off! So, about 206. Do we, I think we have an encounter on 206 already, don't we? I want to say we do. I feel like, why does 206 sound familiar? Hold on. Two hundred three, Eternal Forest, Warburg Mine. I guess not. All right, well, let's get this encounter over here. Let's try to avoid um, trainers so we can get into the cave and get a second encounter as well. Our encounter is a Dust Ox. Not bad. Not bad. I will take it. Um, it is a poison bug type, if I remember correctly. So we're going to swap out into Meta Mech and probably go for Sonic Booms. To take it down. He used Gus, which does nothing to me. So yeah, we'll go for Sonic Booms. Let's see how much you have. It. Okay, it's 20 right there. He probably has 21 left. Alright, he did. Nice. And we're not going to click Sonic Boom again. We are going to throw a Pokeball. And probably catch this Dust Talks. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> I haven't used that phrase since I was a kid. but And, okay, Dust Talks. You want to be difficult? I see how it is. I just want to catch you, sir. I don't care about adding you to the team, to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I really don't. But I will put you on the layout if I can catch you. Bro, what is wrong with you? I don't want to waste all... You know what? I'm throwing one Premier Ball, and if he doesn't get caught, we're killing this Dust Tox. I would love to catch it just for the dupes clause. So if we run into future Dust Tops, we don't have to catch it. But look at this. This man's breaking out of all the balls. Like, what the heck, dude? And we get confused. Come on, bro. I'll stop speeding up. Maybe that's what you don't like. This Dust Doc is acting like a Moltres. He just doesn't want to get caught. Like, what the heck, dude? You are not a Moltres, Dust Ox. You shouldn't be this difficult to catch. I ought to use five Pokeballs on you. What is wrong, dude? This is like a legendary. What the heck's going on, Dust Ox? Thank you. Come on. All right. Legendary dust stocks over here. What's uh, what's a word that means like annoying? A nocturnal Pokemon drawn by streetlights. They mess. They messily eat the leaves of trees, leaving boulevards. Is that what that said? I don't know. Dust stocks. Okay. Annoyance. Uh. Um. Annoying. We're calling it annoying. I think I'm spelling annoying, right? Annoyance? What can I call it annoyance? I believe that's how you spell annoyance. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's whatever. Alright, now we're going to try to avoid these the rest of these trainers. And... Uh, get another encounter in the cave. Yo, I would have loved a Squirtle. Like, are you kidding me? We would have had uh, we would have had Squirtle and Bakugo. We could have had Bowser and Bakugo. Oh my God! Shout out to uh, my Pokemon Gold playthrough, man, where I had a Bowser and a Bakugo, but the Bakugo died. Spoilers. Let's get this Master Ball quick. Super Repel. I'll take those. Okay, there's a guy. Oh crap! We're gonna run into him, aren't we? Yo, I'd have loved the Karanados too. Anything else besides the dust tox, man. Oh my god. Okay. Run, run, run. Encounter time. Let's go. Alright, Wayward Cave. We're just gonna s spam run over here. Come on, give me an encounter. Come on, game. Come on. Something good. Come on. What's going on? There we go. Alright. Usually this in this cave you can find Gibble. But we get an Eevee. Let's go. Eevee's dope. I will take an Eevee. Alright, we're going to do the same strat we had last time. And go out into Metamech. And go for Sonic Booms. Hopefully this doesn't do much. And it does do quite a bit. More than I wanted it to. We're going to Super Sonic this Eevee. So maybe it'll hurt itself. And we miss.
There we go. We find a land. All right, now we will go out into, I guess, Fabuki. This thing can't do anything to Fabuki. It hurt itself. All right, that's what we needed. All right, now, come on, Eevee. Come join the team. What do I name a male Eevee? The, the thing is, what do I evolve it into? Hey, first ball. Let's go, Eevee. Eevee, definitely wanted to be on the team. See, what I evolve, what I evol I choose to evolve it into is kind of dependent on the n well, the names dependent on what I choose to evolve it into. Um, I guess I could just name it after a commenter, make things easier. A rare Pokemon that adapts to harsh environments by taking on different evolutionary forms. Give a nickname to the caught Eevee. Yes, it's a male Eevee. I'm gonna name this after a man who shows mad support on almost every video. Pokemon trainer Chuck. <laughs> uh, here's, uh, here's Chuck the Eevee. I don't know what I'm gonna evolve it into. Chuck. Chuck. In the comment section down below, tell me what you want this Eevee to evolve into. Jolteon, Flareon, Vaporeon. Oh, he got transferred to Deathbox. Uh, Leafeon, Glaceon, Espeon, Umbreon. Let me know, and uh, we'll get things going there. Um, I know there's a... Oh, get out of here. I know there's a hidden area right here? Right here. Right here. Okay, it must be in the next layer. We're gonna get this Master Ball quick. After this battle, of course. Yo, there are Kyogres in this route. And we ran into a Dustox. Literally everything else in this route is such... Oh my god, it's such power. Safari Ball, I'll take that. Is that like a Master Ball in this game? Because you're not usually meant to have Safari Balls outside of the Safari Zone. Oh my god. Imagine we caught a Kyogre, guys. Just imagine. Imagine. Just imagine it. I would have loved it. Alright, so we're going to try and get past this man. Look away, sir. Look away. Thank you. Laron was dope, too. We didn't even run into the dust ox again either. Like, so that was the rare encounter. All right, you know, we're just going to sit in this little patch of non-grass. And we're going to end this episode off. Episode 6, pretty good. Caught some new Pokemon. Added some team members. Going to replace Monster with Eevee. And, uh, if you guys like what you saw and saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Um, question of the day is, what should I evolve my Eevee into? I'm asking Chuck directly, so whatever his answer is, that's what I will evolve it into. But let me get some feedback from everybody. Uh... Like I said earlier, like 10 seconds ago, if you like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!